A woman is checking her lotto numbers while she holds a rope attached to her daughter's wheelchair. She carefully listens to all the numbers, but seems to forget about her daughter. After listening to the last number, she gets really excited and celebrates her winnings. Consequently, she ends up pulling her daughter into the pool. Her daughter then starts to drown in the pool. A man approaches and asks what she is celebrating. The mother explains that she won the lotto. The man runs to her in excitement and puts her in his arms. He congratulates her for winning the lotto. Later that day, the wheelchair girl turns out to have survived. Her mother kisses the man next to the girl. The girl approaches them, and they stop kissing before she sees them. The girl asks if she will finally be able to pay for her operation. Her mother laughs and says that she must be mental and she hugs the man. She reveals to the girl that she loves him. The girl gets really angry as the man turns out to be her fiancé. Her mother says that they kept that a secret from her for a while because she was afraid that she would kick them out, as her father left that house and everything in her name. She says that because she won the lotto, she's going to leave that place with her daughter's fiancé. The girl asks her fiancé, Ismael, how he was capable of doing something like that to her with her own mother. She says that they were the only people in her life, and they backstabbed her. Her fiancé says that he only fancied her before her accident, and now that her mother won the lotto, they can happily live together, away from her. The girl begs her mother to don't leave her alone, especially due to her condition. Her mother says that it's tough, but it's life, and she leaves with her lover. The girl shouts to her mother to don't leave her alone and says that they might regret what they're doing to her. As they leave, the girl stops acting and tells herself that they're about to pay for their horrible attitude towards her. Later that day, the mother is talking to an estate agent about buying her house. She tells the agent that she loves the house she's having a tour of. The estate agent says that the house costs around £200,000. The woman shows the estate agent her lotto ticket and says that money won't be a problem. The estate agent says that in that case, they must sort out the documents. The woman says that she's going to give her a 10% tip if she sorts it out quickly. The estate agent says that she can have it the following day if she makes the deposit. The woman says that she's certainly going to do it then. The estate agent shakes her hands and says that it was a pleasure to deal with her. The woman happily checks her lotto ticket. Later that day, the woman's new partner is lying in bed, looking forward to having a go with his lover. Suddenly, he realizes that there's another man next to her. They both jump and look very confused by the situation. They try to figure out what happened. The woman approaches and greets them. She announces to Ismael that she's dumping him because she was fed up with him, and so she wants to let him know that she found a better partner. Ismael says that she can't dump him because they're going to have a baby. Her other lover asks if it's true that she's pregnant. The woman says that she can easily get rid of her baby because of the money she has. She tells him to get on his bike. The man asks why she's doing something like that to him after all he did for her. The woman says that she doesn't care about what he says and that she has made up her mind. Her new lover then helps her evict her now ex-partner from her house. Her new partner expresses his concerns about her pregnancy. She says that it doesn't matter because she will find a way to deal with it. The next day, the woman receives a phone call. She picks it up, and someone tells her that she will need to cancel her flat purchase if she doesn't show the money. The woman tells the debt collector that she's told him a hundred times that she's got the money. She says that she's going there in a moment to pay for it in cash. She hangs it up and says that she's fed up with poor people annoying her. Later that day, in her car, the woman calls the lotto to claim her winnings. The lotto worker asks the woman to confirm the numbers. The woman says that her numbers are 8, 1, 0, and 3. The lotto worker says that those are not the winning numbers. The alleged winner looks confused and asks the worker to double-check. The lotto worker confirms that it's definitely not the winning numbers and says that her ticket must be fake or something. The woman says that she listened to the results on the radio. 
The lotto worker says that they don't broadcast their numbers on radio. The woman says that it was her daughter who bought the ticket. The lotto worker says that she's sorry to inform her that her ticket is a forgery. The woman says that she can't believe it because she bought a brand new car and a house. The lotto worker says that she's sorry to hear it, but there's definitely nothing she can do about it. She says that she needs to help the other customers and hangs it up. The woman starts to feel desperate about the whole situation. Months later, the woman manages to find Ismael after looking for him for a long time. Ismael says that she told him that she didn't want to hear about him again. The woman says that he's the father of her son after all. Ismael says that she's not really sure because of her promiscuous behavior. The woman says that she can't believe he's saying that to her and that he needs to take care of her and her baby. Ismael says that he doesn't care about her any longer and tells her to leave before he gets in trouble with his boss. The pregnant woman says that she doesn't want to be left alone. Suddenly, her daughter sees her. She is surprised to see her daughter walking again. She says that she never really lost her mobility and that she was only testing her to see the kind of mother she really was. Her mother says that it was all a misjudgment and that she's really sorry for what she did. The girl says that she will never forgive the woman who was such a horrible mother, who neglected her in what appeared to be the worst time of her life. She says that now she knows what was really important to her. She tells Ismael to go back to work and stop wasting his time before she sacks him. She leaves. Her mother cries her daughter's name and says that she doesn't want to be left behind because it's not fair. She breaks down crying and asks God what she did to deserve that kind of punishment.